All right, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, so yesterday was even busier than I thought it was. So um, apparently Nintendo had a Nintendo Direct that wasn't a Direct for Super Smash Bros. Now that's interesting. Does that mean that Nintendo... I mean, it was 15 minute long video for Smash Bros. And they've done a Nintendo Direct based off of Smash Bros. before. Now, did they not want to call it Smash Bros. because they did not want it to... I mean, call it a direct because they didn't want it to be labeled as a direct, so they could do another direct soon. Maybe, but in this one, they revealed Joker and his move sets and everything. Um, you know, I don't know much about Persona, so the character isn't really something for me. Um, you know, he looks like an anime character, you know, normal manga stuff like that. So, you know, he looks cool. He looks like he has cool features. Um. Definitely a cool little attack. It's a, uh, it's all right. Um, fans of the series are probably excited. Hey, it's just another character to me. Um, it is what it is. You, I won't really know until I get to play him. But that photo right there just looks awesome. Um, and as a start, the other thing they announced too was um, me fighters that uh, kind of had um, their own costumes, to make them look like other characters. Now, is that their way to get around, like, having to, like, completely license the characters? Because, uh, that'd be interesting. Uh, so right here, you know, we're going through some of their, uh, fight sets and everything. You know, it is what it is. It's not really my cup of tea, but let's get to the, uh, the Mew Fighters. So, his moveset, it was pretty long, um... Pretty long direct or non direct. But yeah, so you get to get some Mii Fighters that they want to charge you for though, which is kind of weird. 75 cents for a fighter. Uh, I don't know if that's just for this fighter, like for the fighters or the costumes. Um, but it's cool how you can do more characters now without them being like the actual character. I thought that was interesting. It is neat. I'll give it to them. Oh, uh, so these are Persona 3 um, characters. See, I, I don't know anything about Persona, so it is more like just cool things for Direct. Now, this is the one I liked. Uh, Sonic and Knuckles. Like, it almost looks like Knuckles without being Knuckles. Unfortunately, like, they all probably fight the same just with costumes, which is a little lame. It'd be cool if you could, like, give them their own skill sets, like, change up their fighting moves, but hey. You know what? 75 cents character, not bad. Okay, another update, version 3. Um, this is probably the big one. Like, being able to create your own level was super fun in the old games. Uh, and it's just, the game has so many stages that adding a builder is just insane on top of it. Like, they really are making this uh, the ultimate game. Now, does that mean that there's anything else they can add? Are they done? Like, is it just fighters for here on out? Like, I can't really think of anything else they can do with this game. And the question becomes, what do you do with a sequel? Like, are they going to do sequels anymore? Or is this more of just, hey, we'll just keep adding stuff to this game for this lifespan and then come out with a new version of it for the next console and just call it Ultimate Part 2? Or, it's like, really? There's nothing else you can do to this game. I mean, look at they even have a video editor. The Switch can edit videos. That's pretty awesome. I mean, granted, it's only in this game, but that's uh, that's pretty neat. I don't think I would ever use the feature, but the fact that you can do that is pretty amazing. They really are just they all they all went all out. Now the question becomes now. So, do you think Nintendo will release any of their own levels? using the uh, editor or the level builder to add more levels to the game. I mean, it really is crazy. Or maybe all the new levels just come with the new characters that they, they're um, releasing with. So that could be it. The other thing is now, you know, Nintendo has another app or updated the app for Smash Bros. to share videos, characters, and, you know, that that's interesting. Um... I don't really use my phone with my Nintendo, even though I have the apps on my phone, but 
I think it's more of just being, if you're really into this part of the game, then obviously you're going to want the app to make everything easy. I may, you know, dabble with creating the worlds or the stages and try them out, but that's probably about it. But you know what? I'm glad Nintendo is, you know, it may seem a little weird that you have to go to your phone, but at least they're trying to do, like, something unique with video sharing and all this other social aspect. It would be better if you could just do it on the device, but hey, it's better than not doing anything, which is usually Nintendo's uh, way to go. It's like, ah, oh, online play, we don't need that. Ah, discs, we'll stay with cartridges. You know, the cool things that Nintendo's like to do. Uh, but yeah, it was um, a nice little video to watch. Uh, 15 minutes for mostly Smash-related stuff was a little much for me, uh, but hey, they did show some cool features. I kind of wish it was a little bit shorter, um, and I definitely think this means that there's going to be a actual direct shortly because they could have just called this a direct. They had enough information for it. So, you know what? Yeah. So, I don't know. It was not bad. Stage builder, new Smash World video editor, uh, me characters that you can fight with, uh, new persona. I can't wait to see what the next character is going to be and. What else can they add to this game in the future to make it even more ultimate? I don't know. All right, guys. Uh, have a good night. Let me know what was your favorite part of the uh, reveal for uh, the Smash non-direct. And uh, if you liked the video, hit like. If you didn't, unfortunately, um, share my videos. Check out my other videos. And uh, have a good night. And I'll catch you on the next video.